My name is Erin Young. I'm a middle school math and special education teacher in Alma, Arkansas. I'm also a CrossFit athlete. I start my day at school around 7.30 a.m. I teach from 8.20 to 3.20. And then after school, I usually head straight to the box to work out. For those unfamiliar with the CrossFit lingo, a box is what we refer to as the gym. My brother owns the box that I attend, so it's really cool to be a part of a family-owned business. CrossFit is defined as constantly varied functional movements performed at high intensities. It is constantly varied in that the workout is different every day, so it prepares you for the unknown and the unknowable that life occasionally throws our way. The workouts are based on functional movements, which are movements that we as humans are essentially built for. Things like squatting, running, jumping, pulling, picking things up. And then intensity is essential to results. For example, the more work you do in less time, or the higher the power output, the more intense the effort, and the more likely you are to see results. I started CrossFit during the second semester of my first year teaching, at the time, I was simply looking for a way to be more active on a regular basis, but it didn't take long to realize this was something that I really enjoyed, and it was something that was going to make a positive impact in other areas of my life. As a teacher, I was trained to be ready for anything, always ready to monitor and adjust the lesson if I need to, and this was something I struggled with early on because I always wanted my lessons to go exactly as I had planned and all of my classes to stay together, and sometimes that simply wasn't possible. CrossFit helped me become more comfortable with the monitor and adjust philosophy over the years. You can go into a CrossFit workout with a plan in regards to how you're going to break up the reps or how long a specific movement might take you, but sometimes your body simply doesn't allow you to do that. In the moment, you have to monitor and adjust just to get through the workout. So through CrossFit, I've learned to relax when things don't always go to plan in the classroom. And what's more important is that my students are engaged, they're motivated, and they're learning. Research shows that exercise not only shapes our muscles, our heart, our lungs, and bones, it also strengthens all the key areas of the brain. And this is proven true not only for me as the teacher, but also for my students. Since starting CrossFit, I've incorporated more physical activity in my classroom. That might mean brain breaks during a lesson or relay races to practice ordering integers with a deck of cards or simply setting up problems in a scavenger hunt to get students moving around the room. I can definitely see a change in the student engagement when the lesson involves movement. But the best part about it, because I'm physically active, I feel comfortable participating in these things too. It gives me another opportunity to interact with my students and build relationships with my students through the work that they're doing in my classroom. In the Bible, Paul tells the citizens of Corinth that our bodies are a temple in which the Holy Spirit resides. This temple is holy and should be treated as such. I know that I'm going to be held accountable for how I care for my body. Personally, I don't exercise because I want to look good. It's deeper than that. I exercise because I want to be the best possible version of myself mentally, physically, and spiritually. I want to be the best possible wife, friend, aunt, sister, and teacher that I can be. I believe that CrossFit has helped me find this version of myself. While I'm not saying CrossFit is the answer for everyone... I am compelled to encourage you to find what works for you. It might be a kickboxing class, yoga, joining a walking club, swimming, hiking, or just getting outside and playing with your kids. Whatever it may be, know that you're not the only one who benefits. Your family and your students will be influenced by your efforts, and I promise you, it's worth it.